Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about some utility function or functionalities available in Sightly, which will make your life easier. Uh, so let's take example. Uh, you want to search some item within a uh, array or a list. So what you will be doing, right? In that case, you will be writing a code in Sling model and check whether this item is present in list or array or map, and then you will return the result from Sling model to Sightly. For example, you want to find a substring within the string, right? So how will you, you be doing that? Of course, you will be doing that in Sling model and then you will return the result to Sightly. But Sightly provide a better way of doing this, achieve this, you know, task within the Sightly itself. So in this tutorial, I will discuss about in which is the relational operator. You have already worked with it if you have written SQL queries. Right? This is definitely you have worked with it while working with SQL. Then I'll talk about the format, like how you can format your strings when you are injecting uh, variables or the slip back and model data within a string itself or within the sentence itself. Then I will discuss about join. Suppose you have a requirement, you have a list or you have an array or map whatever it is and you want to print all the element of this list within a single line means within a single tag right in that case you can use data slay list or data slay repeat but what is the purpose of using those things when when you want to print all the item in a single line so join provide you a way to print all the list element within a single line or within a single element without using loop or without using data silly list okay so i'll discuss about these uh, three in detail and we'll then we'll see the demo so let's start first with in so you are in support string suppose if you want to check a substring within a string you can do it that in Sightly itself okay if you want to check some item is present in array suppose you have a string array or number array and you want to check like something is present in array or not you can do it in Sightly itself same with list and same with map in map you can check whether the key is present or not okay so let's see the demo of in first and then we'll see the demo of uh, forming and join okay okay for this tutorial I will be using these three methods right uh, these are uh, earlier method I already used with some other tutorial so I will be reusing that let me zoom it okay uh, this get book array will return a book book array of books the get book list will return a list of books and then get book map is uh, you know basically return a map with attribute uh, attribute and value let me show you the uh, methods so get book array is returning this array uh, Get book map is returning this map and get book list is returning the same information of books in list okay so let's see uh, let's come to Sightly so first we'll check how it work with string okay so what I'll do uh, I will hard code a string and check whether a is present in ABC or not so this is the relational operator you can use okay keep in mind this is uh, means uh, you you can use a whole substring and it is a case sensitive okay so let me save it and let me deploy this okay so it's a true right a present in ABC so a is present in ABC but AC is not present in ABC right it, it check for whole string right substring right now let's see how you can check for uh, array list and map okay so I'm checking whether this is my array which I showed you whether Java is present on this array or not okay whether Java is present on this list or not and then attribute present in this map or not if it is present then this will return true if it is not then it will return false so that way you can check this in Sightly itself you do not need sling model code at all means you do not need java code at all okay so let me deploy let me deploy this to am okay it's done and let's refresh it 
it's a true means java present in array okay whatever the array we had like we have four books true 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 everything is present now let's change something okay as i showed you uh, it's a case sensitive so let me change this to small a okay let me change to small j here okay and let me remove something let me give a variable a key which is not present in map okay now let me refresh it okay now it should return false so all returning false so that way you can check this in sightly itself so you will understand how powerful your sightly is okay now let's understand the format so as, as I told you, you can format like you do in Java within Sightly itself, okay? Let me give you an example or demo of that. Okay, to show you the format, what I'm doing, I'm saying, uh, I'm, I want to print like book one uh, out of total books, like whatever the, my, you know, size of my list, okay? So I use a list here, I'm getting that list, right? So what I'm doing, I'm saying, okay, book zero, means this brackets out of one what I'm saying here so this will be replaced by this item right that's the way and this will be replaced every time with this so you must understand this is the list and I'm getting the size of it because uh, yeah I can use this size right because this is a list so every time this loop iterate this will be replaced by whatever is there in item and every time whatever is is there in this list so whatever my size of list it will be coming here and whatever the current item it will be coming here okay so that way e even if you have more you know fields suppose one two you have more one more or two more and any number of the dynamic variable coming out you can format in this way rather than you writing in between of this sentence or in between of strings you can format in this way okay so let me let me build it let me deploy this so what it will print okay book and whatever the item the first and out of total book whatever the size of it means the size is four okay so let me deploy it great see it is printing the book number one book number two out of total four means the size of that list okay now let's understand the join okay so i have uh, four items in this list java am os and network so i want to print these values means these books within a single element mean the single line so uh, in that case i do not need a loop for that Right? I do not need to use data cell list. What I can do, I can simply use join to print that. Okay. So how I'll be doing that? So I, I here I will be getting the either list or array or uh, map whatever I have, and then I use join. Right. Inside that, I will be using the delimiter. Delimiter, you you must aware like whatever the separator of those items. Okay. Now I did not give it. So if I want to give something. I can give it here let me deploy it okay so what it should print it should print all the book names within a single element means this div okay see it printed but suppose I want some separator in between right it's it's a single line it is not showing something like it it's these are the separates so what I can do for that I can write any separator right let me write this comma for now okay or you can use anything comma or colon or whatever you need okay, let me refresh it see this is available so you see how powerful sightly is it provides you a lot of functionalities it makes your life very easy most of the tasks you can perform with sightly itself okay i hope you understood these three topics. Uh, if you have any question, please do comment. Thank you very much.